Welcome to Starbase. I'm your host, Probability of Success Zero, and this is a brand new playthrough series, or at least it might be. I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go, so we're going to play it by ear, but if it does go quite well, we'll hopefully do a series. So, Starbase has just entered early access literally today as you can see in the news section down in the bottom right hand corner it went live approximately one hour and 50 minutes ago so i literally purchased this game the moment it became available and started downloading so i know absolutely nothing about this game in terms of its gameplay i've seen a couple of trailers it was sort of teased to me over about a year ago I sort of looked at the concept of the game and kind of found it sort of interesting. It wasn't really high on my priority list. I was more interested in its alternative, which was Dual Universe. However, since the release of Dual Universe, I've sort of gone off the idea of that game. And Starbase, very recently, about a week ago actually, maybe two weeks ago, sort of re-entered my focus. And what really kind of uh, recaptured my interest was a, a single screenshot that I saw from the game which teased the idea of being able to go down to planetary surfaces which initially I didn't think Starbase was going to have but after that teaser and then reading into what the devs were intending to do with the game intending to kind of give in uh, giving the players access to planets moons and asteroids and not just localizing it to things like star bases but essentially a true open world space sim i kind of got very excited at the concept of it once again so when it became available today i thought what the hell i I threw my money into the uh, into the payment system, got the game, and um, we're going to see what it's about. So, fair warning, I've got no clue what I'm doing. So do forgive me. This is your and mine first view of how this game is played. So let's crack on with it then. So. I've already done some settings, I've done some graphical settings, we may need to do some more changes. As you can hear, I'm hoping that's not too loud, but the audio, uh, music audio is still very loud. So I'm just going to turn that down slightly. Yeah, we'll do it on 40, we'll leave it at 40 because that's, that's about right for me. Um, I've as you can see it's a bit of flickering with the graphics at the minute i hope that's just because of the splash screen and not actually something to do with how it's going to render in game so we may need to go back in settings and adjust it so let's enter the universe and see what starbase is about then okay we need to enter a character name let's see if we can do this <gasps> No. What? We we can't have our name. Oh yes, we can. But we have to have that capitalized. Oh, that's a bit rubbish. Okay. We'll, we'll do that. Probability of success is zero. So let's create that character. Right. These are the origin points. Um, right. They all seem to be under heavy saturation at the minute. Um, let's go for a high number then. Uh, let's go for lucky. I'm saying 27. Lucky 27. Let's confirm and let's see what it does. Welcome to the Starbase. Okay, there is a lot of flickering going on, so we may need to do some graphical changes. Um... There is definitely something up with this because that's all blurred to hell. Right. 
let's just have a quick look at our settings. I think I triggered something that uh, there was some kind of depth of field. Let's turn that off. Oh, there you go. Depth of field sort of fixed everything immediately. So if you're having those kind of issues yourself, you're playing the game for the first time, do check out that setting. Oh my God, that is so much better. Oh, wow. That is pretty awesome. What, where are we? What, what, what am I looking at here? What the hell is that? I'm really kind of confused. So I've set, oh, find a demolition job site. Okay. So move around left, uh, up, left, down. Yeah, okay. Jetpack. Okay, and then sprint. Yep, we've got sprint. Okay, and then we've got a little stamina bar. Okay, follow the arrow to the demolition job site. Um, yeah, okay. I'm just going to look around for a second, guys. That is... Wow. Oh, what's that? Can you guys see that? Can we zoom in? No, we can't zoom in. It's something purple out there and it's moving. This looks amazing. And to be honest, that is pretty smilky, um, silky, smoky, silky smooth. That is, holy crap. Oh, hello. <laughs> right, let's not fall off there. Are we in orbit of a gas giant? I can't really tell because this is... Right, can we... A sprint? Oh, we've got a jetpack on. The gravity keeps pulling us down. Oh! Oh! Oh wow, the sun is moving. The literal sun is moving or we're moving more realistically. Realistically speaking. Um, I'm really confused as to where we are. Holy crap. That whatever. Uh, I I. Uh, I have no words to describe what we're looking at. It's just humongous. Whatever that is, I'm not sure if it's a gas giant. And we're so close up against it that we can't tell its true size. It just looks like flat. Okay, let's do what it's telling us to do. We need to find work. So, oh, I'm not sure how the damage system works in this game, so let's... Uh, oh, look, there's my shadow. Hey! Mining jobs available. Yes, everyone should be employed. Hello. This is absolutely nuts. Sorry guys, I'm really just blown away by just what I'm looking at, just the sheer scale of it is just nuts. Hang on, can we just get that? Can I get the, the pointer up again? I'm trying, there you go, origin. 35K away. Look at, that's 35 kilometers away. And it looks like it's right next door to us. Yeah, that is, I think, another one of those spawn points like this one. Oh, hello. Can we be super cheeky and do this? Yep, we'll be super cheeky. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, beat you, sucker. 
You can go down the ramp. I'm just going to jump over your head. Right. Oh, the detail. I, I love kind of like the smoothness of the textures. It's, it's kind of it's flat textures, but it works very well. Earn easy what? Creds. Yep, I like the sound of that. The galaxy is big. Buy a spaceship. Yes, that is definitely what we are going to do. Okay, we're here. Okay, find a demolition site. Enter it. Okay, we're entering it. Okay. Okay. Oh. Get the bus saw. Where's the bus saw? Do we just process for a bus bus saw? Collection area. Oh, it's over there. Okay, so you go to the table, you get the bus saw. Hello, bus saw. Uh, cut the shipwreck to smaller pieces using the left and right mouse buttons. Okay. Um, let's be strategic about this. Let's look for an easy bit to slice off. We'll, we'll do the wing bit. Oh, hello. We'll saw through that. Oh, okay. Oh, I like that. That's fun. Okay, can we slash right through the ship? Oh yeah, we can. Oh, this this is fun. I like this. Oh! Apparently, if I hold both the mouse buttons down at the same time, for some reason it makes me do this. Charge. Right, so left destroys the target, right cuts the target loose. Hmm. Oh, right. Okay. Right, so I've been just breaking it into chunks. Okay. That kind of works better, don't it? And apparently this runs out of power as well. Oh, I'm really slicing that to pieces now. This is surprisingly entertaining. It's a bit like EVE Online Mining. It, it seems a bit... Daunt, you know, a bit boring at first and daunting the time commitment, but when you start getting into it, it's actually quite fun. The very chilled out, I get to destroy things, but at the same time, I'm earning money. I like it. Am I getting paid per chunk? That'd be great, not per ship. I <laughs> Be better if it was per chunk. Oh yeah, we're, we're cutting right through this now. 
I'm trying to find certain strategic weak points in the uh, structure so when I cut it it kind of like uh, if you played uh, Imperion kind of like you can topple the entire structure just by taking out the foundations oh yeah this, this is really just slicing through it now God, there's a lot of this shit. We're not done yet. Oh, the hot. Oh, it's going. We've done the whole lot. Yay! Demolition the piercer. Right, where's that? Oh, we've got to do this one now. Oh, that's some sort of cool looking ship. If we slice through the middle, slice it right in two. Oh, oh, okay. What, what, what the hell? Do we just, we need to slice ourselves out of the wreckage now. Oh yeah, we've literally, uh, put, oh, okay. Put ourselves right in the middle of it. Yeah, we go, we're out now. If I take out these support beams, that should take the whole structure. Oh yeah, okay, we need the uh, recharging cells. Okay, there we go. I'm going to be very interested in this game's building mechanic. I think it's going to be some very interesting creations. I've kind of got a feeling it's a bit, a bit like Space Engineers, but with a little bit of extra kind of um, flavour to it. I know there's some kind of uh, welding and bolting um, mechanic to it. Okay, I've seen, oh, the whole of that's going. Yeah, so there you can see some bolts. Yeah, definitely see some bolts there. Okay, let's take this thing out. There's a lot of work involved in dismantling something. I'm trying to figure out if there are easy ways of doing it. And the bolts thing, if I can take the bolts out. But that don't seem to release that. You have to kind of carve up the entire unit.
There's some bolts there. Can't seem to focus on the bolt. Right, okay. I've just realised we've gone on a ship to dismantle after this one, so yeah. Ah, maybe we slice down here, the whole thing will go. Yeah, there's a lot of bolts on this. That's done a majority of that. Oh yeah, that's doing a big chunk of it now. There we go. Pretty much all of it going. There's definitely certain weak points, which once you compromise, the whole thing just goes. Step out of there, there should be another one. Oh, oh, that's a nice looking ship. Right, so what we do is we'll try and work on the wings first. Maybe if we slice a wing off, the whole wing will go. Oh yeah, that worked. Okay, let's have a look. So I'm going to try and slice the wing off by slicing through all the supporting bolt. Oh, we need to get a energy capsule for this all right very hard to see those bolts And there you go yeah that works so you've got to take out the supporting bolts and anything attached to it right so let's have a look so if we find that bit there we should be able to slice through the front and once we slice through that the whole of the ship should just go there you go right figured it right so we've got to go for the weak points So we've done that bit, and now we go on this side. Oh yeah, that's working. Uh, so, got to figure out sort of here. It's going to be quite a difficult one because of how much connection there is. Very interesting reach for the buzzsaw. Oh, 
Oh, there you go. The whole thing's just going. That was nice and quick. So there you go, guys. Something we've learnt in this uh, video. If you want to dismantle something for the mining job, you've got to slice it in sections where there's already a kind of um, damage to the structure. And once enough of the section is uh, released from the main body, it'll pull itself away into the collection area. Okay. Ooh. What? <laughs> I like how he's just pointing. He goes, I want this. I really want this. No, I do. Okay, fair enough. <gasps> oh, select ship. Oh, 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 that's the money you get for per ship. Oh, interesting. Okay, um, go to the mining job. Yeah, I've, I fancy doing some mining. Uh, how did we get to mining? Um, I think we should go back to the main platform. Uh, can we refuel this? Oh, what's that? Can I pick that up? No, I can't. Pick that up, though. We'll just grab everything we can. Have we got an inventory system? Oh, yes, we do. Ah, oh, interesting. Cool. That is so... Seriously, guys, I have put the graphics on max and it's really silky smooth. I mean, that's 60 frames a second. Look how many things are on screen. And that's including players as well. Imperion would be dying at this point. Okay, let's... Ooh, Zod. Yeah, I know who you are, Zod. Superman's looking for you. Right, let's just uh, enter this area. Oh. Pick up the pickaxe. Oh, is it not a crowbar? Can we not have a crowbar for this? I'm a sophisticated artificial intelligence, but I have to use a pickaxe because we haven't developed laser drills yet. All right, connect. Um, okay. Um, mind the asteroid. Okay. Okay, let's just read it. So, left breaks up the asteroid in smaller pieces and right to crush the pieces. Oh, and N to bring your headlamp. Oh, okay. So... Oh, uh, I broke it. Oh, do you see that? So he uses the pointy end to break it, and he uses the flat end to cr uh, crush him. Oh, that is very clever. Right. What happens if I do it? Ah, oh, see, that's just for breaking into chunks. To, yeah. All right, okay. So that's initially just to get the rock to snap up. And then to get anything out of the rock, you've got to do that. I mean, technically, we're getting nothing out of this. And I'm liking, look, look, I'm pushing the rocket along. So objects are actual real things here.
Oh, missed it. Yeah, got you. Right, I've just noticed we're supposed to do 10 asteroids and we're not even done one yet. Right, we've got to figure a quicker way of doing this, guys. Uh... uh. I'm, I'm not getting the job. Right, it's still saying I've got none. Right, so we break it up with left. Okay, that's fair enough. So why are we not collecting anything? There's no automatic collection going on. Being funny, but it don't look like you need to uh, crack it apart. Well, maybe a little bit. Right, we still haven't collected a single asteroid. I'm not sure we're doing something right. The remaining parts of the asteroid outer shell are automatically collected by the collector. Right, we've got a server maintenance message, five minutes. Maybe, maybe this has something to do with this mission not working properly. Right, given the fact we're about to go into a server maintenance period, I think I'm going to call this beginning part and end just there. Um, I will be doing a follow-on episode immediately after this one. So hopefully I'll be able to upload them pretty quick. So clearly something's not working here with this particular mission. I mean, it is early access and it is the first day of early access. So 
mistakes and bugs and things will occur. So for now, I've, I've enjoyed the dismantling of a ship. I know it's a little mini game you might see within the game, something to get players just starting in and earn some money, but uh, I found it quite interesting. Obviously, the next mission is to kind of figure out how the mining system works. Obviously, it's not working as intended right now. And uh, then there will be something else that we need to learn. Obviously, these are all small steps that will incrementally lead us to how to do things like construction and then how to take the products of those constructions and bolt them together to build ships and vehicles. As I've said, I don't know exactly what you can build or can't build. I mean, I've kind of uh, been given the impression you can build everything from a single sea to fighter all the way up to the bloody death star um, and the the scope of the game kind of allows it within a certain within certain bounds um, so for now i'm going to call this episode and just that and i'll see you immediately after the server downtime so for now in a bit <laughs>